and we're back yay me <laughs> hello everyone my name is Dashi Mosen I'm the content creator behind Soulbound and that's my dog this is my face yay anyways today I'm gonna be answering some of the most popular questions about Soulbound if you haven't already I have already created a like part one of all the questions so if you haven't seen that video you should probably watch it just in case so you're not like you didn't answer this question blah, blah blah i did i swear but there is like a certain amount of stuff i can actually answer so it is what it is is all i gotta say i'll try and be as vague as i can for some of these but <sighs> we're gonna start off with the questions from my youtube post and then we'll go into the ones from Club 10. And if you don't know what Club 10 is, Club 10 is my personal Discord um, chat where I have all the fans involved and you can meet your fan favorites. So you have the voice actors, team members that get on my nerves. <clears throat> Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so some people ask multiple questions, which I definitely want to answer them because I kind of want this video to be a little longer than 10 minutes, but... We'll see just how everything goes. And I'll probably end up going on a rant somewhere around the lines of this, so we'll see. Okay, so the first question is from Karma Cross. Would you and the VAs ever do character cosplays, the ones that are comfortable with facial exposure, that is? Honestly, I have thought about this so often. I'm just like, well, Octavia has the physical appearance of me, like the very slightest. I mean, there's some things that are similar, some things that aren't. Um, my biggest thing on my channel is the uh, the trademark of the blonde hair and the green eyes because I have blonde hair and I have green eyes. But, you know, so Octavia is definitely like my little character persona that I love very, very much. I love her. So I definitely wanted to do that for Halloween. And, you know, I'm very close friends with Caitlin. And Caitlin, if you don't know her already, she is the voice actor of Nora. And she just so happens to live down the road, so I was hoping we could do that for Halloween and have like a little group costume. I think it'd be very, very fun to see Willow, who is the voice actor of Makai, dress up as Makai at some point. I think that'd be freaking hilarious, but I don't know if you'd go for it. So, I don't know, I would love to cosplay as it, just for shits and giggles, you know? <laughs> Act out some funny ass scenes, that'd be great. And this is another question by the same person, would you ever do blooper reels? Oh my God, there's so many bloopers in so bad. <laughs> there's so many mistakes in this series that some people haven't even noticed but that i noticed later on and then there's things that they've noticed that i didn't notice i was like oh my gosh like one of these episodes there was a um what was it there was a mini map in the corner of my screen because i wasn't in f1 i was just in my regular like gameplay i didn't notice i was there and i was like oh shit and then someone called me out and i was like oh man that's so unfortunate <laughs> oh but I definitely want to do a blooper, like a blooper reel, because we have like a few bloopers from um, Descended Prophets. I don't know if you saw it. There's a there's a video on all my best moments of 2020 or 2021, and that has like Descended Prophet bloopers in there. So you should go check that out. But yeah, I'd love to do a blooper reel. Let's see. Who is your favorite ship? in the series so far i'm a little biased i feel like and i feel like i can't really say too much but i have to say i won't say my ship because i feel like obviously i'm gonna pick like octavia with someone but i am gonna pick a different kind of ship that is more about their friendship <laughs> uh i really like steven and octavia's like friendship relationship dynamic I don't know what it is about them. I just feel like Steven's the kind of guy that's like ride or die for her and she's the absolute same, but I don't know. I think they're just both equally chaotic and I think that would make them a great couple if they were to ever be one, but that's just, you know, that's my input on it at least. Um, I have another question from Karma Cross. If Soulbound ever got casted to be a real TV show, who would you who would be the actors you'd choose? 
Oh no. See, I saw this question earlier and I was thinking about it. But I don't know people by their names. So I guess that one I really don't know at the moment. Uh, definitely re-ask me that in the next like Q&A or something because... Oh my god, this fucking paper is like, fucking the shit out of me. Okay, let's see. Who do you want Octavia to end up with? <laughs> I can't answer that. I just, I can't answer that one. No, 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 no. Oh, this is a good question. Um, oh, by the way, that question was asked by Mariah Richard. Okay, so this one is by Elizabeth, and she asked, How do you become a VA, and how old do you have to be? Ooh. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, so this person wants to know about being a VA. Right now, we have quite a bit of VAs. At the moment, I think I'm managing about 73, 74 people. Porky! Enough, sir. Thank you very much. Anyways, I'm managing like 73 voice actors for Soulbound, season one through season three. We're always looking for more just because I've been adding little odds and ends. If you want to be an extra or whatnot, um, I will put the link down below to my casting call. There you can audition. I'll have some like sample lines for you to do. I There is kind of an age limit, but kind of also not. We do have a wide range of... Um, VAs that are younger and much older so I want to say I'm I'm trying to keep it limited I feel like I have enough people who are really underage at this point so I want to say 16 is my minimum and I don't really have a maximum at the moment uh I do have people who are 15 or like 14 ish but I give them very limited roles because I want them to still get like a chance I would hate to do that but I'm very picky and I'm very, very cautious, as much as I can be, about VAs that have characters that are together. I need to make sure that y'all are in the same age group. So, like, for for me, I'm 18. Almost 19, if that's not important. I'm 18. And Willow, Makai's voice actor, is 18. So, for example, let's say I was 17 and Willow was 18. I still wouldn't do it. I don't care how close it is. If you are classified as a minor in the United States, you're a minor. It is what it is. If you're under 18, I will not put you with the character who <laughs> whose VA is like 20-something. You know, that doesn't seem right. I mean, we have some oopsies here and there with a lot of like recasts, but I don't do it on purpose. And I always fix it right away as much as I can. So on that note... We should probably discuss some other things with that, but I will come back to it in a little while, so we'll see. Um, okay, and again, you just have to audition to my casting call. I also have a Google form in the description of my episodes that you can apply to, but I haven't been that good at, like, like <laughs> looking at them, so sorry. Anyways. Uh, okay, at this point, I really hope I'm just taking a picture and putting like the little comment above me because I'm kind of getting a little sidetracked. So, when is season two supposed to come out of So Bound? <sighs> Listen, the schedule's kind of changed a lot since I went to bi weekly postings. Um, I want to say season two should be in production and like the process of it next year. I want to say next year, or, yeah, it's probably going to be next year, because we're in February right now, and we're estimating about, what, three episodes a month, max, and season one should have, god, I suck at math, I failed math, ah, it's fine, you know what, there's supposed to be, like, 30-something episodes, maybe even 40 of season one, because season one's, like, the backbone, so... Yeah, we're at what? At this moment in time, we're going on to episode 18, part 1. So yeah, I want to say by at least by the end of the year, we're going into the new year of 2024. It should be coming out. So this is a really long series. I don't know if y'all have caught on to that yet, but it is. <laughs> okay, um... That's so funny. Offrup just messaged me saying, Minecraft-related items for you. Gee. You know me so well. Anyways. Uh, will Octavia and Lexton be friends, lovers, or kill each other? Or what do you want to happen? So, I will answer the question 
you know, I feel like I could t- say a little bit about this one. Um, originally, Lexton was supposed to be Octavia's second love interest. That was like the beginning of the story, and that was what was supposed to happen. But as I kind of, as we were kind of like recording it and, you know, feeling each other, like our vibes as voice actors, it was kind of like, I don't feel like we mashed too well for a romance character. It don't get me wrong, we're, we're, we're nice friends. But I feel like you have to have the chemistry of some sort there. Like something, like a good friendship, you know? You have to be close enough. And I feel like Octavia and Lexan have just very bipolar energies that would just not clash well. Like Octavia and like Makai have pretty bipolar energy too, but they just mesh well. It is what it is. But no, Lexan was supposed to be Octavia's second love interest, which means there is a second love interest. It's just not Lexan. Or Gabriel. Not Gabriel. I'm very sorry. It is what it is. Um, no. <laughs> no, it's no. Um, so at the moment, Octavia and Lexan are friends. I can't say what I want to happen because what I want to happen is going to happen. So I can't say that. And I don't want to spoil like any of this stuff for y'all. So that's that. Um, will Caroline be okay in the whole series? And will Octavia and Makai end up together? I think I spelled everything right. I think you spelled everything right, too. I could be wrong, though. I don't know how to spell. Just ask Willow. It's fine. Um, will Caroline be okay in the whole series? Um, so, I don't want to... I feel like I can't really answer this question either way. Um, I can't answer it. Sorry, I can't, because I'll spoil too much. So, all right. Let's see... Let's go into the Club 10 Discord now to answer some of these questions, which I'm kind of scared about already. <clears throat> Andrew, which is one of my good friends in college, uh, has a question. He asked, what made you decide to start Soulbound and pick the plot you did? This is such a good question. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks for being useful today. Anyways. <laughs> um, so what made me decide to start Soulbound? So, for those of you who know and those who don't, I have made this kind of content since 2016. I want to say it was March or May. It's something with an M. I'm dyslexic. It's one of them. Oh, I have lipstick on my hand. Anyways, um, I stopped creating content really around, like, 2019, and then I started up again with Descended Profits in 2020 or 2021. I think it was 2021, I want to say. Um... Design of Profits was supposed to be my comeback series, like coming back into the content, but after a while, uh, some things happened in my life that I'm not very proud of or happy about, so I had to cancel the series, and just coincidentally, this, the world corrupt, got corrupted and I couldn't get back onto it anyways, so it kind of worked out, I guess. Uh, <laughs> but after Design of Profits, I quit entirely and I did not think I was going to come back. I mean, people come and go, you know, but I really didn't think I was going to come back. I sold my $3,000 setup and I started with the little shitty all-in-one like computer because I didn't think I was going to do YouTube anymore. I didn't think I was going to game like that anymore. I had different priorities at the time and I just didn't really care. So I was just like, well, it's over, you know, it was a kid thing. It's, you know, you're going to be an adult soon. Maybe you should just, like, leave it behind you. And now here we are. So the idea of Soulbound kind of just came to me. I've always been, like, a pretty creative person, I would say. I've always wrote stories. And there was just something about, you know, these corrupted entities that I had the idea of in my head. I really liked them. And I was like, I really feel like I could make a story with this. So I started writing. And I started writing even more. And then I announced my comeback and I was saying that I wanted more voice actors. And before I knew it, I was going in my old Google Forms of Descended Profits and I found a bunch of voice actors all over again. And that would have been like the person who plays Lord Gabriel, which is Jay. And then I found Willow through that, even though he has no recollection of just applying to it. I found him years later. It was meant to be. I'm sorry, guys. It just kind of happened. That's also how I found my friend Caitlin. And I want to, there's a few more. The person that plays Gianna was also in that one. And it just kind of happened. And now here we are, you know. 
But Soulbound started getting pretty serious. And, you know, I was planning this for three months, <laughs> three months at a time. And I was like, okay, we're getting really close to production. So this computer cannot run all these mods and all the things I have planned for it. So what do I do? Um, so I saved up $2,000 and I bought a completely new setup, um, got myself a massive desk, which is in my other room. I don't really use it anymore. It's kind of a waste of money, not going to lie. Um, <laughs> and my team and I just got to work and we kept going and then I started casting and then Soulbound was just made. It just kind of happened like that. I didn't think Soulbound was going to be this long of a series, though. I It was originally just kind of going to be like a 20-episode thing. And now we're estimating 75 to 100 episodes. So, yay us. Sorry, voice actors. You're kind of stuck with me for the next, like, two or three years. Not mentioning the spinoff series. So, and so with the plot, I, I've always loved <laughs> fantasy. And I'm, I'm, I love romance. I am a sucker for it. You know, I breathe and live off of just the romance books anything I can get my hands on romance series you know anything so I was like I really wanted to incorporate that and that's just kind of how Octavia and Makai were made that's just my imagination is great <laughs> not for the vice actors though they're kind of sick of me already <laughs> I'm pretty sure the audience is pretty sick of me at this point too <laughs> which is so totally fine because y'all love me anyways so I have another question um, by Daya, which is a brand new voice actor who will be coming in soon. Um, let's see. They said that they were unable to watch the first Q&A. So if this was Ash's ignore it, but who is your favorite character in the series and why? So, oh, sorry, phone. My favorite character, I think I was asked this before, but now that time has gone on, my relationships have kind of shifted. Everyone knows I'm obsessed with Vakai in general. I think his whole character is just a bundle of fun. And I love Octavia and I love how well they go together. But I also, you know, they have a bunch of dramatic ups and downs. So them aside, <laughs> I absolutely adore the trio. And if you know what I'm talking about, you're a real one. Because it, the trio, you know, is Octavia, Nora, and Gianna. And Gianna is just the freaking glue of the entire friendship. She is chaotic and she just, she makes everything so much more funny than it has to be. And I just feel like Octavia can be like the mom of the group and, no and Nora is kind of the mom of the group too. And Gianna is just their child that will run wild and has to be on a backpack leash. It is what it is. <laughs> so I just love them entirely. And, you know, I'm also very obsessed with Steven's character. He is, you know, the biggest playboy there is in all of freaking Melonia. So... His character development is going to be amazing. <laughs> I can't wait for that. And I can't wait for you guys to see that too. Um, let's see what's next. Has Soulbound so far made your life better? I feel like I should be transparent with that one. <laughs> um, I have never been this happy in a really long time. And that's saying a lot because I've gone through a lot. And for those who do know and those who don't. They, some people know the story because I used to talk about it a lot before my comeback of Soulbound. Soulbound has made me really happy, but I've had to sacrifice a lot to keep this series going. And that's like not against anybody. It's just, it is what it is. I've had a lot of ups and downs with this series and a lot of ups and downs with other creators and VAs. But that doesn't matter to me because this is like, this is my child. This series is my child. And I love everybody who has put their heart and soul into it like I have. So I guess to sum that up, it's made my life happier. It's made me happier, but it still has been a bit of a struggle trying to, you know, find my place with it. But I wouldn't change it for the world. I love how everything is now. <laughs> and then, um, let's see... Is there any special meanings, reasons behind the character names? Oh my god, yay! So I would ask that kind of question. I love that. So, ha! Huh, there are some names that have some kind of meaning behind them. Um, the ones that do have meaning, I want to say is Esther, Stephen, um, Makai, and Octavia. 
these ones are the ones that have the most meaning behind them. We're going to start off with, um, what's her name? Esther. So a little while ago, I started working um, at a job in a restaurant, and one of the first servers that I met, I was a, I'm a, ho I was a hostess at the time. Now I'm training to be a server now, and this was like eight or nine months ago. She was the nicest person I ever met there. Her, her name was Esther. She's older than me. She has her own kids. She's married. But I just absolutely loved hanging out with her. She was just so hilarious, and she still works there to this day, and I love seeing her whenever I go on my shift, and she's just so funny. And I was just like... And ironically, that's kind of how Esther was kind of made into this. So that would be her. And then Steven is the VA, the original VA, not the recasted version. It was a good friend of mine. His name was also Jay. And, or Phantom, as y'all should know, like he was, he played the main love interest in Descended Prophets. So I kind of carried the name over, changed a little bit of things. And that was how that was made. <laughs> um... Octavia is from, there was this, I had like this altar name uh, a few years ago under like Octavia Wilde and the reason why I chose Octavia was because like a spinoff of my actual name which is Olivia and I was obsessed with the show The 100, <laughs> if you know what that is, kisses, I love you. So <laughs> I absolutely loved her and I loved her personality and how brave she was and how she was just so iconic and I was just like, I love that. So that's how she was made. And then fucking by Kai. Ugh. Um, I went to prom last June of, I, don't, I think it was 2022. I don't know my years. It's honestly been so crazy to think about. But last June, um, <laughs> I went to prom with my boyfriend at the time. And I also went with my best friend, Liz. And she brought this junior with her. Because you can bring, like, other people from lower grades. They just have to be invited. And it was because, like, he wanted to go with his friends, and she was just nice enough to bring him. She, her boyfriend at the time was, like, in a different city, so he couldn't even go. So she brought this guy with her, and he was just funny. I thought he was hilarious, and his name was Makai. And I thought that that name was fascinating as hell. And I was like, wow. I, like, I vibed nice with him, like, for the night. It was pretty cool. And then... I never talked to him ever again after that because why would I, you know? So as time went on, I was just kind of like, what about that name? Because it kind of stuck with me. Like it followed me in my head for a while. I don't know what it was. I felt like it was kind of destiny at some point though, <laughs> not to be like that dramatic. But I texted my friend Liz and I was like, hey, tell your friend Makai and ask him if people pronounce his name wrong because some people just do not know how to spell it or pronounce it correctly. And he was like, yeah, it happens all the time. I was like, wow, now I get it. And my best friend Liz, she saw like an episode or two and she's like, this is where you got the freaking name from. I was like, exposed, sorry. But you know what? Thank you to the guy that went to prom with my best friend. Because now Makai Evans has been created. It is what it is. <laughs> all right, let's see what else is next. I'm having such a great time. <laughs> mm. Sav says, when will the world finally explode? In your freaking dream, Sav. Get over it. <laughs> I have another question, which is, what inspired you to make role plays? So, I, whenever I first started, um, which was back in 2016, I was a very big Athmo fan. I'm not gonna lie. And so, I was like 11 or 12 making these really shitty stories, but you know, it's like the creation of my channel, so... I just loved the attention I got from them. I loved the recognition and how happy it made people. I was receiving fan art daily. Like, I mean daily. And I it got a little carried, like it got carried away at some points and it kind of got a little scary, but I just loved seeing what someone could do. And Minecraft was my favorite game. It still is my favorite game. And I love it. There was this kid at my work literally yesterday who's like five. He told me he was five. He was carrying around this little Minecraft dog plushie and he dropped it on the floor and I was like, oh no, here's your Minecraft dog. So I set it back on the table. He's like, you play Minecraft? I was like, heck yeah, I do. I love the game. He's like, my brother plays with me. He's 13. And I was like, my heart. Cause that's how I started playing the game was my older sister. And that was kind of how we bonded. 
So I've always loved the game, and I didn't, I always was obsessed with mods and, like, how everyone could do it. And I grew up watching, like, Afmau, I has Cupquake, Joey Graceffa, and especially LD Shadow Lady. So I loved the mods, and then when I found Afmau, I was amazed. Absolutely amazed with what she could do and how it turned into something so massive of a series. I was like, I want to do that. And here we are. I'm, I'm, I just started college. I'm a college student and next year I'm going to be 20 years old and I've been doing this since 2016. So everyone's just kind of grown up now and it kind of breaks my heart. <laughs> so I've asked if I check the mail. No, because I got my keys taken away from me. Anyways, <laughs> um, Gianna asks, are you harboring children in your house? No, but you know what? I do... I do kidnap Caitlyn a lot, so I guess so. She's 16. She's a minor. I kidnap her all the time. I love her. She's so amazing. Um, Hayes asked, um, is the new woman a dead person talking to her or solely connected to her, her powers? So I'm assuming you're talking about the distorted voice that was in the last episode. This is someone who is, um, it's kind of both. She is dead, but it's not someone that Octavia knows, but somebody else knows who she is, which you'll find out in episode 18, part one, but I know you're a little bit impatient, Hayes. <laughs> so, um, yes, this person is solely connected to Octavia and her powers and where her powers, like, originated from. This person that's been, like, talking to her in the distorted voice and stuff is the biggest puzzle piece in the entire series of the lore and the creation, the corrupted souls, the endies. All of it. All of it. All right. So that was all of my questions, and I had such a great time answering them. But now we're going to get into the really good stuff because I have an announcement to make. Just give me a minute to pull up my Google Docs because I can't remember shit for the life of me. So let's see. <laughs> Open. Oh, that's not what I was looking at. Wrong document. Teehee. Where is it? What the freak? <gasps> I made the thingy, but where did I put it? This is unfortunate. Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm ready now. <laughs> so we are going to be hosting a fan art contest, okay? And this fan art contest is going to be freaking awesome. <laughs> so the art that can be rated to, um, to me, it has to be like soulbound related. I want it to originate like around the series. So there is a few rules and I will tell you the deadline and stuff, etc, etc. But there is prizes. There's prizes. So it's not all for nothing. Um, so my rules are like no AI art. Cause somehow people think I can't notice that it's generated through Google or stolen. No stolen art. Like that's just not cool. And just no. <laughs> Why would you do that? Um, there's also a separate, like, section to the art. I also want to see edits, so there's going to be, like, prizes for drawn art, digital art, whatever, and then there's going to be prizes for people who create edits of the series. So, let's see. And you can only win once. You can put, like, um, you can submit multiple art pieces, but I will only pick one if you are, like, chosen for a winner, because that's, this is how you make it fair. All right, let's see. It's time to talk about the prizes of the fan art contest. Yay, my favorite part. Um, some of you might already know, I have been working with some artists on social media who will be creating a Soulbound poster. And this poster is costing me a lot of money, <laughs> but it has to be perfect, so it's totally fine with me. Um, I'm so excited, actually. And they're going to be working on it more in March. So um, the deadline is from now into, what did I even say? What did I want? What time did I want it to be ended? I think it was like now till November is like the opening just because I have to get this artwork in and I have to put it into posters and get everything ready. And it gives people enough time to pick their favorite scenes or their favorite moments, you know, give it time for the plot to really thicken. So it's probably going to be November or September-ish time where uh, the deadline will be over. Um, gives us enough time to grow as a community too. So this is gonna be for the 
drawn part, there's going to be five, um, five winners for like drawn art. Fifth place, you will get the poster and have it signed. Uh, in fourth place, you will also get the poster and you will be able to design your own soulbound character that will become an Ellesmere resident. So that being said, that character, you get to pick how they look and then I will find them a voice actor. And you can also pick their role, like what do they do? What, how do they contribute to the community, you know? And let's see. And you also get to choose their name. So there you go. Your own soulbound character. If you want them to have a certain tattoo, certain like beauty mark, you know what? Possibilities are limitless, you know? Just only thing is obviously I can't add anybody to leadership and I can't add anybody to the strain people. So that's just the only limitations actually there. Uh, third place, you will get a poster. All my posters will be signed, by the way. Kisses. <laughs> and you will also get to design a soulbound character. And then on top of that, you will get a tour of Ellesmere. So whenever I say tour, if you have Minecraft job already and you can run mods, I will take you there personally in the world. And if you don't and you just want to be there and still want to see it, I will call you either on Discord or whatever it is privately. We'll have our own discussions. We can talk and then I can, you know, at that point, I feel like... You also have the like option if you want it to be recorded and posted, just like everything and talk about the series, but that is for third place. Oh, I just got an email about my taxes. Cool. Anyways, second place, you get the exclusive poster sign, you get a soulbound character, you get a tour of Ellesmere and other villages. So that is probably like Pavo. Um, Flores Rebuild, that's going to be Verona, and there's another one in there. I forget. Sorry. Pella. Durr. Is it Pella? No, it's not, isn't it? It's not Pella, it's Terran. Double duh. It's fine. And you also get a Visa gift card of like 50 bucks. So, go treat yourself. <laughs> All right. In first place, you will get the exclusive poster. You will get a soulbound character design, tour of Ellesmere, other villages, and behind the scenes. And here's like the really good stuff. Um, you will also get a gift card. So that's going to be another Visa gift card of $50. And I will buy you your own Minecraft account if you don't have one already. And uh, <laughs> there's one more thing. This person that wins first place will also get to be the first one to watch season two. Uh, that will be like the sneak peeks, and they will get to see the trailers first, and they will get to watch episode one first. And uh, I would love to have them film the reaction to the entire season two of like season like season two episode one, so I can post it and get people kind of like excited and ready. But I thought that would be really cool for them. So there's that. But now we have two winners only for the edit contest, just because I feel like. Edits can be a little more easier than drawing art, especially if you're not all that talented like I am. Yay. I keep putting this in my shirt. I don't know why I'm doing that. But for the two winners, um, second place will just be receiving a gift card, $50. And then they will also be receiving another poster. And then first place will get the poster, the character design, tour of Ellesmere, villages behind the scenes, a Minecraft account, and a Visa gift card. So... Let's talk about these posters really quickly before I wrap everything up. These posters, nobody else is going to be able to get them. The only people in the world that will have them are the winners, um, some team members, VAs, and myself. These will not be sold on any kind of merchandise websites that will be coming up in the future. These are exclusive for winners of contests. And I want to do more contests like these. Maybe I'll do some more... Um, season 2, Season 3, the wrap-ups, whatever it is. I would like to have more... More contests. This is really bugging me. Ow! I could just pinch my neck, boob. Why? That's fine. We're fine. I'm fine. I'm just being dramatic. But, so, like I was saying, the poster is exclusive. Um, we will have other posters in the future that will be sold on a merch website for, like, the Dashing Bow 10 channel. Um, along with maybe, like, stickers, magnets, keychains, and a hoodie. The hoodie's gonna be pretty cool. But, <laughs> it's just gonna feel like that. We're also selling the, uh, the scrapbook that's being made in the series. I know you saw it last episode in episode 17, the little scrapbook, which also had a remodel, by the way. I don't know if you noticed that, but the art is redrawn. Thank you, Finn. Kisses again. 
But um, there's a lot of things that are going to be going on this merch website, but this poster in particular is not going to be one of them. And I feel like every single contest that I do will have an exclusive poster, which is signed, dated, whatever, you know? But that, that concludes today's Q&A, and this went on for 35 minutes. So, success. Yay me. Times five. I don't remember how many times I've said that this thing, so whatever all right i need to where's the button there it is okay thank you guys so much for watching this um i will see you guys next time bye